So I'm here in Mexico City, Mexico. Every year I travel to Mexico. I've been coming to Mexico since 2014. And when you walk around right now in Mexico City, you would not notice that Mexico City was a city that had a predominantly black population in the 16th century. But before I give you the historical background on Mexico City, I just want you guys to enjoy the view that I am looking at right now as I stand in Reforma at Chapultepec Park. When you continue to go straight, you end up in El Centra, which is downtown Mexico City. Now let's just bring the camera back around to me um, so you can get a glimpse of me now keep in mind as I said you know when you're in Mexico City you wouldn't believe that Mexico City had a large black population and in 2015 was the first time that the government of Mexico decided to do a census an interim self-report of people that identify themselves as Afro-Mexican and as a result of the government pushing that initiative we see that Mexico had, has roughly about 2.5 million Afro-Mexicans but Mexico City is a city that really has forgotten its history and has forgotten the tremendous contribution that black people play in liberating Mexico and also helping the country populate because when the Spanish and the conquistadors colonized Mexico in the 16th, in the 14th, 15th, well in the 15th century and then by the 16th century we see as a result of the native indigenous people being killed and wiped out we see that black people had to be imported and so by 1570 we had roughly about 35,000 Africans, black people, in Mexico City. And they were the ones doing most of the work, you know. Because when you look at Mexico overall, you realize that black people were, were in, um, in Veracruz, they were in Oaxaca, they were in Acapulco, they were in Mexico City. And black people contribute roughly about 35,000, as I said, from the, um, the 16th century. Now, now keep in mind, you know, the, the population declined, the indigenous population declined, and as a result, the, 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 the Spanish conquistadors had to replace the workers. And so it was black people working tremendously in Mexico City, that by the 1670, Mexico City or Mexico um, had roughly about 100,000 afro mestizos or Afro-Mexicans, so to speak. And they had a population of roughly about 35,000 enslaved black people. But when you walk around Mexico City today, you, 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 you wouldn't believe that black people had once dominated Mexico City. So I'm just going to give you a little bit context, give you a little bit history in terms of Mexico City overall because black people contribute, you know. They contribute to the growth, they contribute to the development of Mexico and Mexico has forgotten its roots. Mexico has forgotten the role that black people has played. Now, keep in mind their second president, you know, the second president of Mexico um, is Afro-Mexicans, um, is Afro-Mexican. But it is not something that is taught 
in the institution. It is not something that is taught in the school. And so when you want to learn about the Afro-Mexicans, you have to actually go to Oaxaca, you have to go to Veracruz because they don't, for, they don't showcase a lot of Afro-Mexicans in Mexico City. And the truth is that Afro-Mexicans are exploited just as all black people are exploited in the United States, just as how black people are exploited in Peru, just as how black people are expo exploited in Brazil. And so it is important for us as a people that we understand our culture, that we understand our history. And it is important that we connect. We connect with each other because Mexico, as I said, has 2.5 Afro-Mexicans. And when you go to Veracruz, when you go to Oaxaca and the sheer a condition in which the vast majority of Afro-Mexicans are living, it will shock you. But unity is strength, and you know I want to showcase Mexico in a very positive light nonetheless, because Mexico is a very beautiful city. I love Mexico because it's the country outside of Jamaica that really kind of show me love, that really kind of show me the identity of who I am. And you know, when I came to Mexico, you know, in 2014 I fell in love with the country I fell in love with the people and when you go to Veracruz when you go to Oaxaca you will find the history of our people there tremendously and so I will show you a few historical sites in Mexico City so stay safe and I will talk to you guys again